Before I can move forward with any new projects, I need to get this under control. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna clean this up, get everything all organized, and then at the end I'll show you my stack of different projects that I have that are coming soon to becoming cool tops. So let's get this under control. So we're all clear over here and I've now laid out, I think you can see, I've laid out all my projects that I've kind of planned. So I'll show you what I have, let you know if there might be any tweaks to them and what might come from there. So let's flip this around so you can see the good stuff. So I've got another range quilt coming. My boss saw the one that I made for my brother and she wanted one as a shop sample. I'm not sure I'll do a full video on this one since it's going to be exactly the same as the last one, but I'll at least give you some peeks along the way. Maybe I'll do like a one video of highlights. Right now I've got the clammy set on this. These are all my scraps from the crystal cluster quilt. I don't know if I'm actually going to do that with this clammy as much fun as that would be. Um, because right now I can only get a couple solid, maybe one clam out of each solid. I thought I could get more. So it might turn into a twister quilt. So I just need, this will probably be something that is a nice little brain break. I'll get one of the, not the 10 inch twister, but the next one down the six and a half inch. So that might be what this turns into. Here's another shop sample coming to turn the corner quilt. We've got some pretty grunges and some white Kona. Right now this is written for three colors. So we're gonna tweak it so that I can get four with my solid white as my background. And then these three colors kind of mixed in there. So we're gonna figure this one out together. It's gonna look really pretty, but it's gonna take some brain power. And then this one was a variation. I'm actually going to take these and rotate them so that they'll be going one row down the quilt this way. I wanna turn this into a baby quilt for a friend of mine who had her fourth baby not too long ago. So this is all foundation paper pieced, these little triangles. So I'm gonna pick out some colors, probably from my Kona stash. She's a very modern, stylistic mom, so I might just pick out some blue gradation, maybe even left over from the last range quilt and see from there. So there's my stash that's coming and I'm sure there's more in my brain right now that I don't have visuals for, but I'm gonna go clean off my sewing table. So as you can see, this is part of why I have not been sewing in here. My cutting table is completely covered and my lighting's not super great. Like right now it is because it's two o'clock in the afternoon, but I've got to attack this. So here we go.
And here we are now with a nice, clean, accessible cutting table. So now I can cut some stuff in here at a normal height. And I also found a couple things that I will be needing in the near future. I found this book. I've been meaning to look through it again and I didn't realize it was buried. So that was on the bottom of my cutting table pile. And also, as you saw, I'm doing another range quilt. And look, I already have the template. I thought I had thrown it away, but again, on the bottom of my pile. So I'm gonna go get to work, getting those all organized, and you'll see me back soon with our next quilt project. So happy spring cleaning, everybody.